down with JoJo and Jordan. We have a couple questions, and then we're going to talk fashion. So I want to know, have you guys set a wedding date? Oh, we're thinking about it. We're thinking it. about it. Next year sometime. We're throwing around dates. I know you've been throwing around the idea of eloping. Please don't do that. We want to. I, mean, what I keep saying. He's like, let's go to Vegas. I'm like, what? we're going to plan this one. You will. <laughs> yeah. Is there any chance we could see it on TV? I think there's always a yeah, chance. Chris Absolutely. Harrison is very convincing. <laughs> yes. He is. And, and he, he loves you guys. He's the best. Um, and then also, a lot of people wondering who the next Bachelor might be. And you were so broken up when Luke mm -hmm. had to go. Yeah. Um, do you think that he would be a good choice? I think, I mean, if, if you ask me personally, I think both Luke and Chase are great options. Maybe they could do a double one like they did with Caitlyn mm. and Britt. Yeah. I don't know, but Luke for sure. You Chase know who is I amazing. noticed, though, is she's not mentioning as Robbie. <laughs> I mean, I, I think Robbie's a great choice too, but I mean, I think when I sent Luke home, America died. I mean, yeah. so it was an overwhelming amount of support and love for him, and I totally get it. I was thinking about you guys. What, how was that? You're at the airplane hangar, and you're seeing her, like, hysterically cry. Meanwhile, and you're like, darn it, I'm in love with her. It's like, yeah. She seems very upset hey. about this guy. You'll never <laughs> understand. No? It's very difficult Is to it complicated? <laughs> yes. All right. Wow. Well, with that, we'll go to fashion, I guess. <laughs> I'm not going to get the answers. So you think either Chase or Luke. I think so. All right. The wedding, we don't know. Maybe on TV. There's a lot of maybes here, you guys. We don't <laughs> Um, but fashion, we I can tell you for sure, so stunning. Every day I was like, she's done it again. Always seemed to know what to wear. Even and again today. Even, even when you were like a gaucho, you were like, ah, the you were Argentinian. Was favorite. Favorite. Yeah. It was so chic. All right, so let's talk about this outfit. This is uh, an outfit that you wore when? I love this one. Um, so I wore this outfit for one of my one-on-one -on -one dates um, in the very beginning of the season. It was a little dinner. I love it because I think I wore a ton of sparkle this mm -hmm. entire season. This one was just a showstopper. I mean, I loved it and it was great. And the thing that's really neat is you worked with a fabulous stylist. Not everybody can afford a stylist like Carrie Fetman. He is the real deal. number I want because he's <laughs> incredible. Um, but you can also rent these dresses. Mm -hmm. um, and that's a really great option. You can actually have JoJo's look but not have to spend the money on carry or the actual dress, which you can only wear once. It's hard when they're this stunning. So we want to show you another option. Um, by the way, that dress retails for $265. It rents for $35. What a bargain. Then this, this yellow deal. dress, which I am obsessed with. You didn't wear this on the shop. No, I wore this for an Us Weekly photo shoot, but I loved it. I think it's so fun, so flirty. It's fresh. It, I mean, the color is amazing. I don't think you can go wrong with this one. All right, and I'm going to give you the details. It retails $365. The designer is Alexis. It rents for $7. Seventy dollars, and so you do, was this the kind of thing that you would buy that you would keep in your personal wardrobe? Totally. I feel like you can wear this to anything. You wear it to a barbecue, you can wear it on a date. I love when she wears stuff like it's almost like a romper type thing. If yeah, that's right. So good. Let's talk fashion. I mean, I'm here. Yeah, uh, I love oh, when Jordan. she wears this kind of thing. We have our new fashion correspondent. And so he's here. Over here. here we go. <laughs> yeah. Um, thank you very much. That's so fabulous. And then we're going to bring out the finale dress created by superstar heart. designer yes. Badgley Mishka. Is this gown looked so spectacular? It was so perfect for that moment. So it retails for a lot, $1,100. You can rent it for $150. Wow. Now, this dress was an important one because you knew yes. you could be an engaged woman in it. So tell me about the thought. Okay, I thought about what my dress would be like this entire season. And you see all of my dresses this season have been like very tight and form-fitting and sequenced. I thought on a day where I was getting engaged, the best day of my life, I wanted to be romantic and sweet and I felt like a princess in it. Yeah. And not to mention it was like 120 was degrees <laughs> in Thailand. It's very cool. Yeah. You get a nice breeze. Uh, and, and talk about the dress that you wore last night for the after the final rose. Oh, that I love that very one. Chic Michael. Was that Michael Kors? It was the Misha collection. It, who's that? Mi Misha. Misha collection. You know, I actually found it online. Me and Carrie were trying all these dresses, and him and I were just going online, and I found it. We ordered it, and we got it in, and we were obsessed with it. Well, ladies, I want to say thank you. You wear it well, as did the one and only JoJo Fletcher. Are you going to take the name Rogers? I am going to take the name Rogers. Yeah. Rogers. I love well. it. Breaking news here on uh, Good Morning America. Good. You guys, we're so happy to see you. We wish you the best. Thank you so Please much. come back we and will. visit and let us know all the plans. I will. Thank um, you. All right. So, and our thanks to Rent the Runway, of course, for providing these gorgeous dresses.